Hilfe. Chupacabra, Spanish for the goat sucker. goat sucker. The goat sucker phenomenon can be traced back as far as medieval Europe, but the creature did not gain worldwide exposure until the early 1990s when Puerto Rican farmers began to find their livestock mutilated. No longer are these reports from far off or foreign lands. They're coming from our own backyard, literally. Dozens of large animals have been found mutilated in this region. Some of them dragged off miles from where they were killed, shredded. shredded. There have been dozens of reports of sightings of a strange creature lurking in these woods. It is no coincidence that more hikers have been lost in the last month than at any point in history. These hares were found by a local hiker Upon analysis, they were determined to be of unknown origin. I believe these hairs to be those of the goat sucker. Goat sucker. El Chupacabra, the goat sucker, goat sucker, is not a mythological beast. It is real, very real. Be advised to take all precautions. Goat Sucker Hiking Tour. Hi, are you our guide? No, oh, no, I thought you were. I'm out, it's one of the hikers. You got some weight loss? Wayne, I've been here about 20 minutes. This lady was here when I arrived and this guy got here a few minutes ago. We're just hikers too. Man, I would have thought the guide would have been here by now. 
<laughs> have you ever been on one of these crew tracks before? Yeah. Can't say that I have. I have. I've been on a lot of them. Just last year, I took a tour in the Pacific Northwest, visited that famous Sasquatch footage. You know the one. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Been to Scotland, too. Spent two weeks at the Loch Ness. Loch Ness? Really? Yeah. You see anything? No, nothing. Just some creepy waves. That is one weird place, let me tell you. <laughs> mm, some mornings, that lake is smooth as glass. And when... I'm a skeptic, but I like to keep an open mind. That's a good policy. So, uh, you a newbie? Is it that obvious? Mm. Just came out here to get away from things for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. You part of the skill sucker thing, too? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, I'm Eugene. Alan, nice to meet you. Yeah. You folks here for the goat sucker hiking tour? You the guy? Hell no. My name's Brad, I'm the driver. I take you to the location. Margaret, she'll pick you up and take you from there. You like Margaret, she's cute. Okay, well let's get going then. Hey, hang on a second there. One, two, three, four. I only see four of you, it's supposed to be five. Five? Sucker. I beg your pardon? Goat sucker tour. Yeah, sweetie, it is. You know, we're just about to leave without you. Holy shit. Oh, hi, Alan. Isn't this great? Coincidence, huh? In the bag, except for you. I, I want you right up front of me, sweetheart. Thank God. Go. The rest of you, they make yourselves cozy in the back here. Normally, I have a minivan, but it's in the shop. Don't worry, you got cushions. You go. Great. So you know the bubble head. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Let me give you a hand. There you go. So, how far is it to the location? Oh, about 35, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? What do you think? You're going to see a goat sucker at the local 7-Eleven? 45 minutes. Shit.
Let me give you a hand this time. I was expecting a little more hand than that. <laughs> Okay, so where's our guide? Shouldn't be too much longer. She's got to be finished loading the supplies by now. Excuse me. Hey, wh what is what is that? What's what? Over there. Oh, well, that's what you call a Heidi. She's a cutie, isn't she? <laughs> this is one of our newest hiking guides. Is that our guide? Not supposed to be. Hey, Rob. What are you doing here today? Oh, just bring another group up for a tour. Margaret's supposed to take them out. What do you mean a tour? There's no tour scheduled for today. Oh, well, Mr. Walters, he scheduled another goat sucker tour for today. Apparently they've been selling out. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Another goat sucker tour? All right, I just drive the groups to and from. I don't make the decisions. Okay, so, so what's going on here? Everybody, if you can just pay attention to me, if you can get your stuff and go to the top of the hill over there, I'll be up in just a minute to assist you. You haven't seen Margaret, have you? No, are you early? Oh, we're running late, actually. Margaret should be here. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do now. I guess I'll radio Mr. Walters. Mr. Walters, you there? <laughs> Mr. Walters. Walters. What? Well, I'm out here with this group at the drop, but there ain't no sign of Margaret. What the hell do you mean there's no sign of her? Where is she? She's not here. Oh, Heidi's here, though. Heidi? It's her day off. What the hell is going on out there? Put Heidi on right now. He wants to talk to you. Yeah, this is Heidi. Where is Margaret? I have no idea. Look, there is a group of people out there waiting for Margaret on the goat sucker tour. Now what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't know. Cancel it. Give them all a refund. What? Are you out of your mind? That is not going to happen. I don't know what you want me to say. You're the boss. Oh, you're damn right. I'm the boss. Now here's what we're going to do. You are going to lead the goat sucker tour. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. You know I only do the Mother Earth tour. Heidi, this calls for you to go above and beyond the call of duty. Now, you're going to take them on that goat sucker tour, and that is final. I wouldn't know what to say. Oh, improvise. How hard can it possibly be? Do what you normally do and throw in a, ooh, the goat sucker was seen over here, and ooh, my, that looks like some goat sucker tracks over there, and hey, people around here say that the goat sucker killed a fella in this area right here. Just make up some creative shit. You mean lie. Just do what you have to do. Now this tour is gaining in popularity like no other we have. I can't just cancel it. It would be bad publicity. Mr. Walters. Heidi, let me put it to you this way. You're going to lead that goat sucker tour or you're going to find another job. Your choice. And if you see Margaret, tell her to find another job. Are you not gonna call somebody in case there's been an accident? Let me worry about that. Over and out. What, what are you gonna do? About what? M M Mark, Margaret, are you, are you gonna call the p police? No, that's all I need is the police wandering around and creating bad publicity. Now look, Margaret's a big girl. She'll turn up any minute now. 
Now come on, we have got work to do. I didn't expect you to be up yet. I see that. Again, Cassie? It's been sighted two hours north of here. They even named a hiking tour after it. Cassie, you have to stop this. I'm never gonna stop. Not until that thing that killed Paul's dead. How many times do we have to go over this? Paul was killed by a bear. Were you there? Everyone agrees it was Were a bear. they there? Cassie, you've got to stop this. No, answer me. Were you there? Was anybody there? No. Well, I was there and I saw that thing grab Paul and drag me to the woods and that was no bear. It's been two years. It's time to let it go and move on. And now I know- That son of a bitch killed my boyfriend. We're supposed to get married. Did I tell you that? Yes, you told me. But Cassie, you can't keep going out alone chasing a creature that doesn't exist. It does exist. I cannot do this anymore. Do you know how difficult this is for me? How difficult what is? To know my only daughter is going to fool around and get herself killed. It's only a matter of time before you get yourself hurt and get stranded out in the middle of nowhere. And I can't do a damn thing about it but sit here and wait for it to happen. Do you have any idea how powerless that makes me feel? Please, Cassie, please stop this. Okay. What? Okay, Dad. Really can't have you worried about me like this, Ken. Really? Yeah, really. I have to go now. Hey, let's go out to dinner when I get back. Just the two of us? If you like scary stories, listen to the free Maniac on the Loose Scary Stories podcast. Visit ManiacOnTheLoose.com I could just kill that asshole. Well, I guess that's what you get for hiking on your day off. Another goat sucker tour, huh? Are they weird? Uh, about as weird as any other group. She's a cutie. Oh, you think everyone's a cutie. She really looks dressed for the occasion, doesn't she? Did you bring the idiot bag? She's in the back. What size do you think she is? Mm. Uh, a cup, definitely. Not bra size, pants. Um, size two, for sure. About shoes? Um, seven and a half, ain't a question about it. Oh, it's sick that you're so good at that. Stay with the group. If something happens and you find yourself separated from the group, stop, wait where you are, and I'll find you. Rule number two, if something were to happen to me, again, just stop and wait where you are. They're expecting me to call in when we reach the cabin tonight. If something happens and I don't call in, someone will come out to find out what the problem is. We'll hike up to the cabin tonight and come back tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fun in between.
bit further we have to go. Rhonda, you don't even need to bother. You all may have seen me on the CB earlier. That's because there's absolutely no cell phone reception at all out here. We're all gonna have to live without that luxury for a couple of days. <laughs> this to your right, there's a really deep ravine. This time of the year, the water is down really low, but it does get a lot higher during other times of the year. You notice the natural foliage. There's a lot of natural ferns. There's some species that are indigenous to this area that you won't find anywhere else. Where's Rhonda and Eugene? Huh? Oh, what? I don't know. Oh, uh, you all wait right here. Where the hell they go? I don't know. Let's break out the water. <laughs> I'm ready to drink. <laughs> you guys as hot as I am? <laughs> Ooh, I'll tell you. Ooh, mine's empty. Anybody got some? I'm got some. Somewhere here. Ah. Uh, there we go. The sharing type, are we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ten bunny ears, ten bunny ears, under the hole and touch. Hey, I thought we lost you guys. Oh, oh hi. Uh, Rhonda had to tie her shoes, so I, I thought I'd stay behind and keep an eye on her. Good job, Eugene. No one should ever be left out here alone. But the next time either of you has to stop for any reason, you let us know, and we will all stop and wait for you. That way, no one gets lost. Am I clear? Mm -hmm. Shall we join the others? Like this, huh? Restroom. <laughs> um, it's over there, or over there, or over there, or anywhere you'd like. Huh? She sang. We're standing in one big toilet. Um, <laughs> you just go ahead. We'll wait for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, brother. That was marvelous. You, my dear, play an excellent expert. I can be any kind of expert you want if the money's right. Oh, it was just great. Wasn't it great, Marvin? B -b -b it's good. I got a question for you. Aren't you afraid you're going to run off potential customers with all this advertising rather than luring them in? <laughs> Hell no! People love this shit. Why do you think so many so-called haunted houses get tourists up the ass year in and year out? It's simple, my dear. The more people are frightened, the more they want to check it out. You know, part of what you had me say, there is some truth to it. There have been a rash of animal mutilations reported in this region. And I don't think it's all anything. bullshit. Coyotes, most likely. But look, if people want to believe it's this goat sucker creature running around and eating up people, the better for me. Uh, I've got some business. In fact, I'm supposed to meet somebody right about uh, now. <laughs> so if you don't mind.
Come on, we gotta go meet Jed Corbett up the road a ways. The, the goat, goat farmer? What for? Because he's gonna strategically throw some goat carcasses around for us. <laughs> when I get done with my little marketing scheme, people are gonna come from miles around to see the goat sucker. That, that's not very honest. Honest? Honest? What, are you shitting me? It is not about honesty, boy. It's about making money. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't know about this. You d d d don't have to n n n know about this. All you have to do is shut up and do your job. Don't, don't, don't make f f fun of me, you mother... All right, calm down. Don't go blowing a gasket in that simple mind of yours. Now let's go. And oh, do me a favor. Don't d d d talk anymore for a while. I covered it! Someone calm else's down. blood! Further up the trail, there's a stream. We'll stop there and get you cleaned up. Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. Wayne, it would be best if you put the shirt down. The police aren't going to want anything tampered with. I was just looking for any obvious bullet holes or knife cuts. But damn. This thing looks like it's just been ripped to shreds. Wayne, put it down. It's not your concern. It was the ghost sucker, wasn't it? He killed somebody. It's out here. It's after us. It's after us. It's going to kill us. It's going to kill all of us. We're all going to die. Well, somebody had to do it. How dare you slap me. Hey, will you get your hands off me, you little bitch? Get me out! Get me out! Come on! Hey, hey, hey! Let me out of here! Let me out of here! Hey, everybody, knock it off and shut up! Listen up. I'm in charge here. There's no need to panic. I know it's a little strange that we found a bloody shirt out here, but there's a thousand reasons to explain it. The best thing that we can do is just to keep on going. I think we should go back right now. The goat sucker could be out here with us. They could be out here right now. Alan, I'm scared. Hold me. Get away from it. Yeah. Rhonda, everything's gonna be okay. Listen up. Here's what we're gonna do. We're closer to the cabin than we are to the beginning of the tour. There's a CB in the cabin. As soon as we get there, I'll radio this in. In the meantime, we're all going to try not to worry. Am I clear? Sure, yeah, whatever. Whatever, yeah. I just heard something. Hmm? It's watching us. What makes you think so? I just heard something in the bushes. Rustling. Something's out there. Calm down. Unless you see something, there's nothing to panic about. I just saw something! Something's out there! What? What? Oh my god! What'd you oh say? my god, we're all gonna die! We're all gonna die! Okay, everybody stay here. I'm gonna go take a look. Wait a minute. I'm coming with you. No way, no one separates from the group, but I'll take the gun. <laughs> Sorry, sister. Nobody touches this gun but me. And cover me from back here. about. There's nothing over here at all. It's the goat sucker! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's gonna kill us! Alan, Eugene, go get her! Wayne, go! What about you? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I'll catch up. Go get her. Go now.
Oh yeah, that's the Goat Sucker Tour. Very popular. You know about this? Hell yeah, I'm Brad the driver. Good. Uh, let me go grab a ticket and you can take me out there. No, sweetheart, come here. So, the last tour went out this morning. There's not even a tour guide available for you. I don't need a tour guide. Well, what would you do if you were out there all alone and you saw a goat sucker? I think of something. You think you're better than a tour guide? Because we actually have a tour guide listening. What? Mm -hmm, yeah, she didn't show up this morning. And maybe the goat sucker got her. You know what I mean? Take me out there. Well, hey, What's in it for me? You know what I mean? What exactly do you want? Hey. Does it have a name? Does what have a name? Your dick. Uh, look, lady. What is it? Uh, what is it? It's golden shrimp. Well, Brad, you either take me onto the goat circuit tour. Or I'm gonna butterfly hey. your golden shrimp. What do you think you're doing? Get control of yourself. You're gonna get us all killed. Get your hands off me! That, that, that is truck. I think so. Just pull up next to it.
I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be Will you just shut here. up? You shouldn't be here in the first place. I came here to get away from you, Rhonda. What the hell do you want? I want you to say you love me. I don't love you. I can't believe I'm even I've here. I've never this. loved you. You were just some young little piece of ass that I had some fun with. Do you love me now? Well, I guess it explains why you're letting that whore hag hang all over you. Hey, I'm not that old. This is the creme de la creme right here. What is? The fact that you're stalking me. I'm not stalking you. Then what would you call it? You're my boyfriend, Alan. I just want to spend some time with you. Oh, oh my God, will you just leave me alone? Alan, wait! There! You've been replaced! Congratulations, Eugene. Sorry, Eugene. No problem. You're like crazy. <laughs> You're wacko! You're out of your mind! I mean, what did you do, like, just escape from some <laughs> mental institution or something? You're lucky you got that gun, I'll tell you that right now. Shut up and drive. I mean, what are you, some kind of a hot shot dog Rambo or something? Well, I don't even think you got the guts to use that gun. I mean, what are you gonna do if I just pull over? Refuse to drive any further. I mean, what are you gonna do? Pull over and find out. Oh, I'll call your bluff. Right here. There you go. Now, what are you gonna do about it? Start the truck, or I will kill you. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm sorry, Eugene. I'm just, I'm sure I sound like such a baby. I just. Oh, no. No, I. I don't know. I just, I just wish there was something I could do. Well, you could come sit next to me. Well, come on. You're not afraid of me, are you? Afraid of you? No, no. I, why would I be afraid? You could sit closer. I swear I don't have cooties. Come on. Cooties? Cooties? You're the last person I think would have cooties. You know, Eugene, you just... I feel like I know you, you know? I just... You just seem so... familiar. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Uh, I, I get that all the time. I think he's afraid. I honestly believe that he's so overwhelmed by his feelings for me that he just... is scared. He, he doesn't know what to do, so he just rebels. He loves me. I know he loves me. I don't know. I, I just think he's crazy. You know, he should be happy to have such a beautiful, wonderful girl like you next to his side. I mean, I'd be thanking my lucky stars. That is the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. I, uh, well, I, um... Why can't Alan I, say anything like that to me? I'll never stop loving him. No, not till he's dead and gone. Listen to me. I'm sorry. I tend to ramble. <laughs> it's okay. I, I just, uh, I, uh... Eugene, thanks for being such a good friend and just listening to me.
Would you not sneak up on us like that? I can't find Heidi. Well, where is she? What happened? She's gone. She never caught up to me. Where's Alan? Ron and Alan had a fight and he took off into the woods. He's mad. What? What the hell was he thinking? He just went waltzing off into the woods? <laughs> Where's Pam? Well, Pam took off after him. She, I guess she meant to console him. Oh, oh shit. Okay, here we are. Happy? You understand that when I leave here, I'm gonna go get the cops, bring them back? In that case, I better buy myself some time. Bitch. Crazy bitch! I hope you catch a herpes! Have fun hunting! I know I will. Maybe I was too hard on her. Alan, don't let her get to you. <laughs> Some girls just can't take no for an answer. I know I came off as a jerk, but I was just trying to be truthful. And sometimes the truth hurts. I don't know what it is. It seems like after a month with the same girl, I get tired of her. I don't know, maybe I have some sort of deficiency. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. Your problem is you're meeting the wrong type of girl. You're meeting young, immature girls who are looking for someone to latch on to. Someone to marry and spend the rest of their lives with. That's not the right type for you. Yeah, well, what is the right type? Someone who, uh isn't looking for a relationship. Someone who just wants to have a little fun. Someone older, Crazy bitch. I'll track you down as well, dude. I'm gonna track her. Penny of the ticket price right there. To think someone your age could be that good. My age? You sure have a way with words. It was supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> uh-huh. Better hurry up, sweetie. Don't want the monster to get you.
son of a bitch! Lock your doors. Bolt your windows. There's a maniac on the loose. Do you like scary stories? Prepare yourself for a slew of dark, twisted tales of terror. <laughs> the Maniac on the Loose Scary Stories podcast specializes in short stories that will curdle your blood and send shivers down your spine. Now available for free on all major podcast platforms. Also available on YouTube and Rumble. Visit ManiacOnTheLoose.com Listen now, if you dare. So you have no idea what happened to Heidi? No idea. She has never caught up to me like she said she would. Shit, what, what are we gonna do? Well, my gut says we should look for her. But she said to stay on the trail. Of course, we're off the damn trail now anyway. So, I don't know what we should do. Oh, shit. Is that Eugene? Huh? Is that blood? Wayne, there's something wrong with Eugene. What happened? Goat sucker. It killed Alan. <gasps> what? The Rhonda! Rhonda, wait! No! Wait! wait. No. Shit! That shit! We're gonna have to go after that! What the hell? Come on, just look you move your ass! Come on, follow me! Oh. Shit! Get your ass moving! came from the woods. What did? Some kind of creature. It was, it was something like I'd never seen before. It had to be the goat sucker. Goat sucker, huh? Now, you want to tell me what really happened? What? Just like I told you, the goat sucker. Uh-huh. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Wait, Wayne! We have to go, Rhonda. but we're getting the hell away from here. We should wait here, like Heidi said. Surely we're close enough to the trail for someone to find us. Uh, somebody's been killed. And I don't trust Eugene or his story. I'd say they change us the rules. And the hell this cabin bullshit. I'm going back the way we came. Look, she's in no shape to travel right now. I'm going. If the rest of you want to stay back here, be my guest. Look, Heidi said if anything like this happened, that we should stay on the trail, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going with Wayne. 
Okay, I'll go. I know where we're going. How do you know we're on the right trail? We're on the trail, we're on our way back. I don't know, Wayne. I think we've strayed even further from the trail. I mean, does any of this look familiar to anyone? It all looks the same to me. I hate the woods. But, uh, you know, not that I mind, but why do you carry a gun? Look, if there really is something out there in the woods after us, all your jabbering is gonna make us very easy to find. We're lost, and you're probably leading us right back to that thing that killed Alan. I'm telling you, I know exactly where we are. Now you can either stick with me or... Oh. or... Holy shit! What? what? Run! Run! <laughs> Somebody chasing you? Hey, what's going on here? There's something back there. It's after us. Wait. Don't stop. Don't like throw it. That way. Shh. All right, you with the gun. You come with me. The rest of you stay right here. Oh shit! I'm staying right next to the guy with the gun and the guy with the knife. Fine. Be quiet. I don't hear anything. Well, it was just here, chasing us. Well, all your shooting must have scared whatever it was off. Why don't you put that thing away before you hurt somebody? Buddy, this gun doesn't leave my hand and my finger doesn't leave the trigger. Suit yourself. Hey, where are you going? What are you folks doing out this way? We're on a hiking tour. We got lost. What happened to your guide? She's gone. She got lost too. That and did they tell you right? that if you get separated, you're supposed to stay on your trail? Well, yeah, but, but why I... didn't you? Well, we were going to. You know how many people get lost in these woods each year? Wait a minute. You don't understand. We, one of the people in our tour group was killed. The goat sucker. They killed Alan. What? <laughs> this guy saw the whole thing. He he said it was a goat sucker that killed. There is no goat sucker. You want to tell me how he really died? I saw it. It was a goat sucker. It came out of the woods and it killed him. Is that so? Hey, look, I was skeptical myself, but I just saw something really damn weird out there. And wait a minute. What difference does it make what killed him? He's dead. Now, look, we're stranded and we need some help. I'm going to help you. The first thing you need to do is get back on your trail and wait there. You mean we're not on it? No, you're nowhere near it. I knew we were lost, Wayne. You don't know shit. Shut up. 
Look, we're going with you. I don't have enough room for all of you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to let somebody know that you're out here. And the easiest way for them to find you is for you to get back on your trail and wait there. Give me. Now what you want to do, you want to follow that tree line there. You're going to go about three miles till you hit a stream. Then you go upstream until you hit the trail and just wait there. Look, we can make this thing work. We'll pile on. It's rough terrain almost all the way there. There's no way I could get you guys there. It would take all night. <laughs> Look, just, just trust me, okay? I'm going to call this in, and then I'll come back, and I'll wait with you. <sighs> well, go on! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Come on, Peter! Hey! Listen here! Wayne, he said to go this way. Hey, I'm following the one sign of life I've seen all day. I think we should just stick together and go back. Wayne's already proven us he's an idiot. Rhonda, will you shut up? As far as I'm concerned, you're the reason why Alan's even dead. He was trying to get away from you. You just left him alone in the first place. He wouldn't be here to get killed. A little dick teaser. Wait a minute, Wayne. He's got the gun. Fine. Go get yourself lost with Wayne. See if I care, you old slut. We don't need you. Unless you're going with them, too. I'd rather stay with you, Rhonda. Okay. Let's go, then. The knife. Turn around. Slow. You're good. Who are you? The name's Huck. As in Huckleberry? As in Huck. What are you doing out here? I live here. What are you doing out here? I'm looking for the goat sucker. What am I going to do, Eugene? What am I going to do? Well, maybe we should stop and rest for a minute. I have plans for us. Now it's just over. Just like that. You can come sit by me, Eugene. Okay. I'm just so scared, Eugene. I don't know what to do. I had our whole future planned. I just need a little more time, you know? 
it's going to be all right. I don't know what to say. Just, uh... Yeah, I know, I know, I know you think you loved him, but... Think I loved him? Well, he was never right for you, Rhonda. He was everything. He was my future. He looked good, he had nice clothes, and he had a car. Now you tell me, what about that is not perfect for me? I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be taking this out on you. I just... It must be so hard. Excuse me? You know, having to deal with that thing killing Alan. I just... Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that was, that was pretty gruesome. That's for sure. I'm just such a stupid girl. I mean, why would I let myself run after guys like, like Alan, just because they have money and nice things? And, and here you are. You don't even know me and you're, you treat me so nice. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just an idiot. It's, uh, it's, it's gonna be all right. Maybe it's better this way. What'd you say? I, uh, I... Oh, no. Oh, no. I just, no. Oh, no. Ronnie, I can explain. That, you, it's just... Are these pictures of me? Well, yeah, but I, uh, I, I just... Why right. am I in all these photos? I, just, I can't... Really, where'd you I'm, get I, these? They were just... <laughs> oh, no. Eugene, I, I don't understand. Dan, I mean... Rhonda, I... I love you. There, I said it. I said it. Oh, oh, you, you don't understand how much of a relief it is to say it after all these, all this past year of knowing you. You love me? Yeah, I... Year? We just met today! Well, we may have just officially met today, but I've known you for the past year. Well, you're in 12 days. <laughs> Eugene, I... Oh, no, listen to me. I'm, I'm just talking my mind to you. I, I feel alive. I, Eugene... I never would have thought I could do this. And, and now with Alan out of the way, and maybe things between us can... You know? Alan out of the way? Well, he, he was never right for you, Rhonda. Eugene, you did it. Did well, you... Well, you said you'd love him till the day he was dead and gone, and well, now he is, so I, I, I just had to. I, I had to. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You know, we should probably keep our talking to the minimum. We were all talking a lot the last time it found us. Well, I wouldn't have to talk if you'd just keep up. Just give me a second. We're not all on the baloney pony exercise routine. What? I just need to catch my breath. I'm ready. Maybe we should wrap it or something. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, who's my bag? Oh, we probably left it back there with Alan. I know I did. What? Oh, oh no. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. What's wrong with you? And my camera was in that bag. Oh, shit. Who gives a shit about a camera? You don't understand. My life. 
life was in that camera. I got twenty thousand dollars worth of pictures in that camera. Pictures? Pictures? What kind of pictures? Uh, what kind of pictures? Well, uh, what do you take pictures of? Uh, well, they were. Uh, what the hell difference does it make now? There are pictures of your wrinkled ass bobbing on that young Johnson back there. Twenty thousand? Is that what my husband paid you? Hey, look, it's nothing personal. It's just business. <laughs> what is this, a godfather? You took pictures of me having sex? It's definitely personal. Look, if you want to make it personal, that's fine. But it is business. I need that money. I need that camera. Prick! Listen, all I did was take some pictures. If you didn't want to lose out on your divorce settlement, you should have kept your pants on. It's not my problem. You prick. You leaving me here? I'll come back after I get my stuff. Don't bother. I don't want to see your ass. You jerk. Sorry I pulled that gun out on you earlier. I saw your knife and I had deliverance flashes. No harm done. Hey, let me ask you something. Why did you come out this way looking for that thing? The gut sucker hiking tour. Lady, the only suckers out here are you and anybody else who believes this bullshit. I saw it earlier in the woods. It's here. You know, you're gonna fool around and get yourself hurt. Why don't you get out of here while you still can? I'm not leaving. You can either help me or get out of my way. There's nothing I can do to stop you, is there? No. Wayne? Is that you? Where are you? Answer me, you bastard! Great! I'm walking in circles! Circles! Shit! <sighs>
the Maniac on the Loose Scary Stories podcast will scare the hell out of you. Visit ManiacOnTheLoose.com Something seems odd here. Odd? Uh, well, why don't we just find whoever's house this is and just ask him for help, you know? Rhonda, I've been a private detective for 30 years. Now, at this point in my life, I may be a little down and out, but my gut's never wrong. And right now, my gut's telling me that something's not right here. We need to be careful. You stick by my side. I'll get us out of this. Okay. Is that... It looks like blood. I knew something went right here. Breathing. Be one asking the questions. What's in the bucket? Dog food. What are you doing with Heidi? I found her. Where? In the woods. On my way back. She was lying there unconscious, so I brought her back and I'm taking care of her until the police arrive. You called the police? Really? What's with the blood? There was an accident earlier. Looks like a hell of an accident. Why don't you put that gun away? Oh, that's not happening. Take me to your house. I'm gonna call in and make sure the police are really on their way. Shoot him! 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 Shoot
explain it to me again because I'm having a hard time understanding this. You change into this thing by... Kiss of a man. And to change back... Blood of a woman. In time, it'll be easier for you to accept. So how long have you been doing this? A long time. You're good. Well, you do anything long enough, you get pretty good at it. How do you keep them caged like this? I like to take my time. We're going to make a great team. <laughs> we are? It's perfect. With you and your hobby, I'll be able to change back and forth whenever I choose. Do I have a choice? No, but it's beneficial for you too. I'll be an extra set of eyes and ears for you. And if anyone ever gets too close, I'll take care of it. You don't know it yet, but your life just got a lot easier. What do you know about the hiking tour that runs a little closer to my property line than I'd like? All right, I messed up and I got spotted, but I don't like the publicity any more than you do. Well, what are we gonna do about it? What are we gonna do about it? I found evidence. I have to kill them all. You ready? Yeah, I'll start with Walters. Do it. 